B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. The Asian Development Bank and law firm DFDL Cambodia hosted a seminar on Cambodia regulatory framework for security interests in mobile property on May 8, 2024 at the Hyatt Regency Phnom Penh. The event features speakers including His Excellency Bun Sarak Muni, Secretary of State at the Ministry of Commerce, Roberto Lewa from ADB Trade and Supply Chain Finance Program, and Niri Rotsrein, co-head of Banking and Finance Practice at DFDL Cambodia and ADB National Consultants. The seminar focused on law on secure transaction, covering movable collateral, first promulgated by the Cambodian government in 2007 with the support of ADB establishing the Secure Transaction Filing Office in 2008. His Excellency Boon Sarak Muni highlighted the law's role in supporting SMEs under the current government strategy. Roberto Lewa discussed ADB's collaboration with Cambodian financial institutions to improve local practices. Nadi Rothstein explained Cambodia's adoption of secure transaction law influenced by WTO participation and aligned with the Uniform Commercial Code aiming to enhance secure transactions. B2B Cambodia interviewed Niri Rothstein about the latest developments in the secure transaction law and its impacts on businesses in Cambodia. According to the law on secure transactions, the law only covers any transaction that marked by a uh, set or collateral that are uh, described under Article 6 of the law on secure transaction. And, and this collateral only covers on the mobile collateral, such as uh, inventory, uh, account receivable, and uh, crop and farm product and so on and so forth. So uh, what is the latest? So the latest is that the law has been adopted a long time ago, 17 years ago. And now that I believe that this is the right time to use the law because this law is cured by only movable collateral while the immovable property are not really in the market like not many financial institutions can prefer to. So maybe uh, we try to urge the financial institution Cambodia to consider to accept the movable collateral as well. And especially now, there's so many uh, startups and there are so many SME that doesn't have the right collateral to access to the finance they need in order to sustain their business or to expand their business. So I think this law play a really important role. I believe that there are so many potential uh, business, especially startup or maybe smaller business. That's really important because, you know, probably 90% of economic is uh, actually uh, relying on the SME. And then uh, SME is also relying on the credit or financing that they need, right? So if this SME can use whatever collateral they have, especially the movable ones, such as their share, their any other inventory or their any other collateral that they can use, and then that's really, really, really uh, good for them to, you know, to have more opportunity for the business to expand and also give more job to other people as well. So uh, there are different type of collateral that being accepted under the law. So the enforcement also depends on the collateral as well. So the general enforcement, for example, that enforcement is self-help where between the party have to negotiate how to resolve it. Either they have to find other money to repay their uh, loan or they need to sell the collateral or dispose the collateral in order to get the money to settle the, the, you know, the loan. And another option is Recently, the Ministry of Commerce issued a new progress about the, about the secure uh, party rights and the last resource is going to the court of Cambodia. And one of the options is maybe in the future that the relevant ministry will issue the progress or any me- mechanism about the expedite court order where they, the court probably issue a really quick and fast order, you know, in order to enforce the collateral. Maybe that's what we hope in the future that will happen. So I, I work with ADB as a consultant and also work with Ministry of Commerce as well. They are really open and they are willing to uh, help and also open to any mechanism. So what we could do is we talk to them that I think one is the awareness. So even like within the industry, especially the bank sector, it's like probably 62% back then they conduct the survey. 62% they don't know about the law or they heard about the law, but they don't know how to use the law or applicable law. So I think the awareness is really, really important. And second uh, recommendation that uh, I think that w- what we're going to do with together Ministry of Commerce is that uh, we need to come up with any regulation, especially like a sub-degree 
that complete the loophole or address any concern from the public and so on and so forth. And last but not least, maybe work with all the relevant ministry for especially for other collateral. How are we going to help the lender to be more comfortable to accept the mobile collateral?